Step onto the set of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, and you're in for a whirlwind of magic and meticulous filmmaking. Daniel Radcliffe, known for his iconic portrayal of the young wizard, faced a Herculean task during the shooting of one particular scene, and during a staggering 95 takes to achieve cinematic perfection. In the literary world of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, it's referred to as the Seventh Potter, however, in the cinematic realm. It's dubbed the Seven Harrys a fitting title for a scene brimming with seven versions of the famed wizard. These seven incarnations, brought to life by members of the Order of the Phoenix, underwent a remarkable transformation. With Polyjuice Potion coursing through their veins, they assumed the guise of Harry Potter himself. It was a risky gambit, one that even Harry himself found unsettling. Yet, with danger looming, there was no alternative but to proceed. Daniel Radcliffe, tasked with portraying this kaleidoscope of characters, faced a formidable challenge. Each persona from Ron and Hermione to Fred, George, Fleur Delacour, and Mundunger Fletcher demanded a distinct portrayal. Under the watchful eye of director David Yates, Radcliffe meticulously studied his co-star's mannerisms, ensuring an authentic performance with every take. But the magic didn't stop there. Behind the scenes, cutting-edge technology was at play. Motion control cameras, meticulously calibrated for consistency, captured Radcliffe's every move. With 95 takes under his belt, Radcliffe's dedication to the craft was unwavering, each iteration inching closer to cinematic perfection. We'd film one rendition with me embodying one character, then another with me as a different persona. Precision was paramount. The slightest deviation rendered the footage unusable, Radcliffe revealed in a candid interview with Collider. As if 95 takes weren't daunting enough, the production called for a staggering array of backup cameras 30 in total to ensure no magical moment slipped through the cracks. It was a symphony of technology and artistry, all in service of bringing Hogwarts enchantment to life on the silver screen. To further elevate the scene, the crew employed state-of-the-art ultraviolet makeup techniques. Every subtle nuance of Radcliffe's performance, from Ron's hesitant gaze to Hermione's determined expression, was captured in exquisite detail, leaving audiences spellbound. In the end, the arduous process yielded cinematic gold with testament to the dedication and artistry that brought the world of Harry Potter to life in all its magical glory.